Jangan lupa stay back untuk ada dua post credits. The last scene tu <tuh> epic. Uh, look out for it ya. Uh. <coughs> Kevin. Hai, uh, nama saya Nick Nazri Iskandar, saya pengasas Baspop.tv. Mo 11. Nama saya Engku Imusin bin Engku Muhammad Nasrun daripada Shah Alam. Nama Jung dari Shah Alam. Uh, kita baru lepas menonton filem Shazam. I have to say it's a breath of fresh air. Uh, it's not so dark. I like the fact that it's totally different than other DC movie even when it comes to Aquaman which by far the best. Kan? So this has a different tone. Emily suka mana satu? Aquaman atau film ni? Shazam! Unique lah. Memang agak unique lah. Dia lain daripada Aquaman, dia lain daripada Man of Steel, dia lain daripada BVS. This is something you've never seen before daripada DCEU. This is a family friendly film. Um, nampak sentuhan-sentuhan penulis Geoff Johns throughout this film. Pada saya, pemilihan pengarah David Sandberg tu yang sebelum ni buat Annabelle atau apa Annabelle Creation saya pun tak ingat. Tapi dia datang daripada genre horror dan pemilihan dia untuk buat filem superhero ni memang satu pemilihan yang amat arif sekali. Uh, ada parts dalam filem ni yang rasa macam cerita hantu, tiba-tiba serius, lepas tu lawak balik, lepas tu action balik. So memang feel lah, memang memang nampak lah dia bawa dia punya DNA dan dia 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 masukkan dalam filem Shazam tu. So memang perfect lah. Dia bisa ber good job. Dia punya orang jahat dan dia punya syaitan syaitan. Syaitan dia menakutkan sampai dalam filem tu saya kena tutup telinga je bila scenes tu dengan tutup mata. It was, it was the right casting lah. It was the right casting. Very good, very good. And the script also works for both of them. Because when he became Shazam, he actually embodied still 15 year old, and that was the reason why he's good acting. Right, and he makes the audience feel like a kid. So okay, menarik. Dan uh, saya suka duality antara tadi Dr. Teddy Sivana dan juga Shazam. Memang in a sense ni macam origin story untuk both the villain and the hero. Pada aku ada beberapa babak yang dalam filem ni yang masa Shazam tengah belajar macam nak guna kuasa dia yang mengingatkan aku back kepada zaman Sam Raimi masa dia buat Spider-Man 1 dengan Tobey Maguire. Memang it feels like Billy Batson is like uh, Peter Parker trying out his powers for the first time. Cuma kali ni dia ada kawan baik dia Freddy. I think Freddy was important because he actually a uh, sort of a uh, the fanboy ah so so freddy actually representing us so so dia memang dia memang cool lah pasal freddy suka semua benda dan DCU and and there's a lot of easter eggs dalam filem ni contohnya kalau kau orang peminat filem-filem DCU ada benda tentang Wonder Woman ada benda tentang Batman tentang benda Superman so memang nampak uh, you know Billy Batson ni hidup dalam dunia DCU uh, dan juga kalau kau orang fans kepada original Fawcett comics of Captain Marvel, <laughs> Shazam, uh, ada banyak callbacks. Uh, apa yang dia suka? Uh, dia punya fighting dia and the, dia punya script is nice. Dia punya macam berlakon lah macam. Oh, oh. <laughs> Satu lagi yang saya suka, lawak dia memang hanat gila babi. Dia memang gampang gila. Memang something yang kita tak pernah nampak dalam DC EU before. Even like before this, you consider that Aquaman ada scene-scene lawak juga. Tapi ni memang lawak level rasa macam tengok James Gunn dengan Guardians of the Galaxy balik. That kind of like laugh out loud memang tak boleh control punya ketawa. So yeah, good job. Well, number one, Mark Strong is always been a good villain in any movie. Yeah, he's good. And I think it's vital for the director to have Mark Strong on board lah because yeah memang memang um, he made that villain work lah kalau orang lain I cannot I cannot I cannot pick it lah it will be too too cringy lah and very weak lah so Mark Strong actually saved it oh satu benda yang aku tak feel lah dia macam everything from like the the first act cantik bila dia masuk second act tu dia macam off sikit pasal dia punya villain Dr. Tadia Sivana ni macam skema gila bro dia macam dia macam gila cliche oh. dia macam like comic book villain yang ah, benda tu dah 45 tahun god you know uh, aku tak nak spoil but uh, dia punya motivation tu a little bit cliche you know it could have been done a little bit better
ada a bit draggy part lah I think I felt that the first the first act was a bit draggy a bit draggy maybe it's not as deep lah ataupun it's not as uh, macam macam Aquaman tu lebih kepada adventure uh, Man of Steel VVS it has that mythos because we we we're so used to like Batman and Superman so yang ni ni macam it has its own vibe its own you know it's something different lah the key thing is uh, DCEU is on its way to being healthy again so Aquaman and this actually gives me hope lah in DC movie in the future. It's a nice beginning. It could go deeper. Uh, I look forward to Shazam number two. Harap dia jadi lagi best and lagi menarik dan dapat banyak tontonan ramai. Oh, rating I will give it about three over five. Three and a half. I bagi two point five.